Hi all, welcome to the marquee matchup with predictions for the 21st of November. Pointed to cover, as always, all information is down in the description below for those that struggle with my accent. But if you can smash links, it would be awesome. Sub to the channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter at G is a legend. All the links are down below for posting the channel and social media links, as always. So we've got 2 to 4 for international break. We, Romania, Sweden, we did kind of hint about and others. But regardless, back to normality with leagues and definitely a good set of fixtures to work with. So starting off in the Premiership, we have West Ham and Spurs and Manchester City versus Chelsea. One of the games is going to happen, I'm um, at the moment leaning towards West Ham versus Spurs. West Ham, you can look at like Noble, um, who will be quite common, Lanzini at highest, but like Yarmolenko, um, Fabianski maybe, because of, cause he generally goes quite low. But Spurs, you'd look at Dyer, Wanyama, it's kind of like your staples. They're going to be the most common. Harry Winks as well. Man City's Foden and Bravo. Chelsea are like Emerson, Ruben Loftus Cheek, Barclay, Mitchy Batshuai. Um, but West Ham's is a game I'd fancy more. Um, into France, we have Brest versus Nantes, and then Bordeaux versus Monaco. One of these games could easily happen as well. Um, I would say if I was to go for. Either of them, I would imagine Brest and Nantes because Bordeaux has just happened. But I would say, regardless, be prepared for like anything. But I would say, looking at it, both of these would probably be in my six out of ten brackets. I wouldn't. I'm not 100% convinced with them. From a Brest view, you've got um, Lasney and Charbonnier is like your golds. Nantes, you can look at like Ploy, Lafont. Um, they're going to be regulars. Bordeaux, you can look at Calou, um, the Preval, Monaco's like Bakayoko. And over to Turkey, we have two games with K Seri Spore, who are bottom of the league, versus Saiva Spore, and Galatasaray versus Istanbul Bezikaspir. I would say one of these games could easily happen. Which one? At the moment, I'm leaning towards the K Seri Spore versus Saiva Spore because Siva Spore are top of the league. And Kayseri Sport are bottom of the league and it is what is known as a Central Anatolian Derby, which is kind of like the region of Turkey. In terms of like players you can kind of look mostly at, I would say best to look at the league rather than teams. So we're trying to build, just have like a team of the league, mix of bronzes, mix of silvers, mix of golds. Be prepared for whatever it could be, you could get like Ypranu and... Um, Andoni, for example, from say like an Ist Galatasaray Istanbul perspective, Siva Spore is like Marcus Gilhelmi, the striker, or Eduardo, I can't remember, can't remember his 100 name for 100%. But over to Italy, we've got Bologna, Parma, Milan, Napoli. One of these games should happen, which one is a different matter. Um, Bologna, Parma is the Derby del Emilia, and Milan, Napoli is just a battle between respective clubs in the league. Uh, Parma-wise, Seppi, uh, Gervinho, they're going to be very common. Bologna, you're going to look mostly at like the um, Medel, um, Desmele, Milan, you'll look at Piatek, Rebic, Conte, Napoli, you're going to look at Heisage, Gulam, Mere, Ospina, Carnesis, Chiriches, so you'll be sorted. Then Australia, with that one, original derby between Adelaide and Melbourne Victory. I would say this could easily be one of the small options that they could go for. Um, there is another standout small option that could happen. I would say just be prepared with the league rather than the teams because they're more likely to just go two or three from the league and then maybe have like a nation requirement and maybe say like max of a league or they could easily just mix up the um, like minimum from like certain nation, maybe even like Australia or whatever it may be, they'll not make it too difficult, like they would make the small ones fairly cheap, they try to make them like 3 4k at the most, they're not trying to make them like 30 40k, but be prepared regardless I would say. Over to Spain, we have two games in Spain which are Basque derbies, which, I, which are the smaller end funnel enough, Osasuna versus Bilbao and then Ibar Alaves, one of these should happen, I think Al Ibar Alaves has happened before a couple of times in previous FIFAs, so don't be surprised to see that happen. Osasuna Balbao, you don't want to happen because Osasuna don't have as many goals to work with. Like um, Avila is one of them, and the central mid I cannot 
um, nearly is named half the time. Bilbao, you can look pretty much like the Marcos, um, the goalie. Um, can't remember his name. It saved my life, but that's can't remember everybody's name. Ibar, you can look at like Orellana, Charles, Alaves. You can look at Alex Vidal, and you find yourself pretty sorted pretty quickly. Like there's, like as long as you've got most of the teams, you'll be fine. And then over to China, two games as well. We've got Shanghai, um, Shenghui, and Beng- Beijing Guan, which is the national derby. But the one I think they'll go for is Wangzhou Evergrande and Shanghai SIPG, um, because that is a top of the table clash. Whoever wins it could guarantee themselves the league title. Um, but I would say just be prepared with the league rather than teams, um, as we've said in the past. So that kind of wraps you up for this week. In terms of other games, you've got Fulham QPR, Benevento Crotone, then Juvia Stabia, Salerno, no, Vassel Kobe, Osaka is one to keep an eye on because of David Villa's retirement, Stuttgart vs Karlsruhe, Gruer Forth, Nuremberg, Aarhus Bronby, Ipswich, Wickham and Shanghai um, vs Jiangsu Suning. So you've got plenty to work with for next week. Um, as I say, the top four that we fancy are going with... West Ham Spurs, then going to um, Bologna Parma, then Ibar Alaves, K Serie Sport, Siva Sport, and then finishing off with the Adelaide and then the Guangzhou Evergrande Shanghai SIPG games. So hopefully that gives you plenty of food for thought, folks. As I said, all the information will be down in the description below, as always. So smash the like as always, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at G is Legend. Take easy all, thanks for watching, and I will catch you all later.